Do you guys know what I love about True Skate? I absolutely suck at it. I think we're all able to agree on the fact that, you know, the game isn't looking that good right now, but it is, of course, also just an early access, so all of that will get worked on. A little steezy heel flip, nice. Let's just change the skateboard. I feel like this one is getting the most realistic looking clips, but if we just want to actually do some tricks today, I need to step it up. I do like the orange one. Let's see if we can big spin back tail. Oh, okay, we kind of got it. I know the control scheme right now might be that appealing to a lot of people. That nolly flip was actually pretty good. But I just think that I found the game so much fun because it was something completely new, like Skater Excellence Session. Even though you haven't tried one of the games, you probably know what you're doing. With this one having to hold the triggers to sit up and, you know, it's just very different. After playing the game for a couple hours, I definitely, like, see that, okay, we need some legit changes here. Let's check out one of the other maps. I'm not going to the Mega Ramp, but maybe the Valley? Oh, is that a gap we got over to the left there? Let's just start it up here. See if we can get a little... Okay, that was the tiniest ollie I have ever seen. Alright. I feel like the sooner you press the other trigger, it's gonna look better. But I also feel like it depends on what trigger you press. Oh my god, primo down that. So if I were to do a kickflip, catch it with the left trigger, we kind of bone it out a little bit. If I would catch it with the other one... Oh my god, heel flip primo. Let's just get the kickflip again. But then with the right trigger. Yeah, see, then it doesn't really bone as much. Amazing. And I guess if we were to do a pop shove it and catch it with the left trigger, it actually reverses around. I think it's keeping up with the nose or something. Yeah, see, that one kind of boned out. So for shove it and 180 flip tricks, you'd want to catch it with the same... As the one you popped with. Oh, little barrel heel. Little barrel flip. Let's get the tray flip though. Damn it. That was the weirdest tray flip I have ever seen. Ah, we kind of caught that one, Primo. I do love how every trick like looks different. That one was a bit better. But I guess you can change the way it looks even more if you sit up with your front foot down. There was some weird stuff going on there, but otherwise, I kind of like that one. Yeah, okay. But let's just quick fire a bunch of flip tricks. Starting out with a double flip. Oh my god, that was actually beautiful. Then on to a double heel. That was actually really good looking too. You know, after playing the game for a couple of hours, these are the things I can do first try. Like, no spinning, no grinds or slides, because I also don't think that's really done yet. But like, big flip tricks? Yeah, that's manageable. Oh my god, we actually got a big spin that way. And there I just tried to like, session. Oh my god. So if I wanted to do it front side, you know, we could do it like that. I don't know, how does that look though? Actually look kind of sick, like a Reggie Kelly frontside big spin. But all right, on to the inward heel. Oh, primo. That one was really good looking, but I'm supposed to catch it with the other trigger if you want that like boned catch. Oh, primo again. Yeah, that's the one. I'm really bad at hard flips, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it is going to help me if we sit up a bit lower. Yeah, like that. Okay, we're taking that one, even though the catch was kind of bad. Burial double flip? Okay, we're getting that first try. How about a burial double heal? Oh my god, back to back? We can clean that one up and catch it with the other trigger, though. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Now, what else? I mean, I don't think we're getting a hard double flip, but maybe an inward double heel. Or just big spin inward double heel. <laughs> no, we, we can get that one, I think. Ah! 
Okay, we're taking that one. That's really difficult. But damn, I love the backside flips. I mean, I would appreciate the spin cam not going with us. As you guys saw in my first gameplay, I really struggled with the back heels, but maybe we could actually get a clean one down this. Or just 360. Big spin inward heel is really easy. I've landed that accidentally a couple times now. But just the back heel, man, that one is tricky. Oh, I think I figured it out. Yeah, we just gotta sit up low. I bet that's the same thing for the front side flip. Yep. Okay, should we skate something else? I mean, I've just really been enjoying doing rocket slow motion kickflips down this. All right, kick the front board. Tray flip, set a session marker, and then... <laughs> I actually want a bit more speed, and then to... Wow, primo slide on top of that. No, to, um... To... Like, front side, big heel, over the rail here. Oh, that was double. I don't know if it's just my technique that's bad here. Yeah, that one was double again. Oh, that was it, right? That was actually really good. Was that a lip slide? I can't really tell sometimes. Yeah, it was, but uh, we can clean that up. Perhaps with one of the other boards so it looks a bit more realistic. Maybe just the, uh, the worst one. Yeah, was that it? No, that was actually like a switch front feeble. It is kind of hard to see with the spin cam. Oh, wow. Okay, we went back to regular. Oh, front heel hurricane? Kick foot back Susky. Now we got the kick flip back tail. Heel flip board slide. Little barrel flip to Fagy. Switch barrel flip. Oh. Okay, okay. Kind of ruined it at the end, but just playing the game, like, I feel like there's so much potential to make a really good skateboarding sim. And one of the reasons for me really liking the game at this point is probably just because the control scheme is so much different. I like that it feels like it hasn't been influenced by Skate or Excel or Session, but I do also see that maybe to get more people playing it, that is the route you have to go. And also to be able to do more things like ollie and then tweak your board into grinds and stuff. You can't really do that right now. To finish off the video, I'd really love to get like a front shove low C grind. That was exactly what I was trying. No, I was about to say dark slide. Uh, but I don't really want a lip dark slide. And I don't want a dark ride. Or dark 50. Oh man, that's what I want. Yeah, the start was pretty good. That's the cleanest one yet. And I guess it was like a Wes Kramer dark slide. It actually looked pretty good in the replay. Yeah, you know what? That was pretty sick. Maybe we should try to get some more normal tricks too. Kickflip board slide. Oh, kickflip feeble? Oh, that was sick. Kickflip willy grind. Kickflip 5-0. If I do that. Oh, that's a kickflip smith. That is actually what I was trying. Oh, part of my leg is gone. Uh, more of my leg is gone. Both my legs are gone. Maybe this means it's uh, another one of our friends job to land this. There's no way I'm getting a clean kickflip back nose blunt. But at least we got one. Guys, I've been reading your comments about what you think about this game. And I agree that we need some 
new form of control scheme. But overall, I like that it's different. I like the history of True Skate. I believe it came out like 10 years ago and there has been updates coming all along the way supporting the players. So I don't see this game as like a cash grab and let's just make some money and get out like another game that's kind of disappeared at this point. As far as I know, they're also open to modding, so that could be really awesome in the future. But if you guys have been kind of thinking about it, I would recommend getting it now because you're basically investing in the game. So I can't remember how much it was, maybe $20, but you'll also be getting like the full game and all the updates that's coming along. And as it comes along, the price will increase. So maybe it's just a good idea to get it now and, you know, give feedback. Let the developers know what you think would make this like a really good gate simulator. It really seems like they are listening, they're taking in feedback and yeah, this is only the beginning. There's a long way to go for this, but hopefully in the end we can end up with something really awesome. Also, we got Milky and Garrett in the game, right? Let's support our homies there. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll just be seeing you in the very next video in the channel. Until then, have it good. Peace out. I don't know why I'm always doing this weird finger thing. That is actually kind of weird. I never really like talk with my hands and stuff. So maybe I should stop being such a weird YouTuber when it comes to the outro. Oh, all right. All right. Hope you guys have it good. I love you. Bye. I love you.